Hey kids, welcome back to reading. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look back at our story, Emmanuel's Dream. When we do, we're going to be identifying the topic and theme of the book. Let's start with the easy one, the topic. The topic of a book is what it's mostly about. A lot of times you can identify the topic just by looking at the front of the book and the title. In this case, our book is called Emmanuel's Dream. And that's what this whole book is about. It's about his dream and his life. But now let's talk about the theme. When you're talking about a true story, like our biography, the theme is a lesson you learn in the story. To figure out the theme, you really do need to go back and dive into the words and pictures to figure out what it is. Very rarely does the author come out and say, this is the theme you have to use your inferencing skills to figure it out. Let's try it. Emmanuel grew, Mama Comfort told him he could have anything, but he would have to get it for himself. He learned to crawl and hop, to fetch water and climb coconut trees. He even shined shoes to earn money. Most kids with disabilities could not go to school. Still, Emmanuel's mother carried him there until one day she said, <sighs> You're too heavy. From then on, Emmanuel hopped to school and back, two miles each way, on one leg, by himself. At first, nobody would play with him, so he saved his money and bought something his classmates did not have, a brand new soccer ball. Of course, he would share it if he could play too, lunging and spinning on crutches his grandmother had found for him, and kicking the ball with his good left foot, Emmanuel earned their respect. His new friends sometimes used their lunch money to rent bikes. Would Emmanuel be able to join them? His friend Godwin pushed him fast so he could balance. Over and over again, he fell hard, but finally, he rode. Wow, Emmanuel really does do a lot of things that would be difficult for a person with a disability, but he never gives up. He doesn't let his disability stop him from what he wants to do. Let's look at a few more pages and see if we can figure out what his message is. When Mama Comfort grew sicker, Emmanuel went home to be with her. From her bed on Christmas Eve, she told her son, be respectful, take care of your family, don't ever beg, and don't give up. By the next morning, his mother was dead. He was heartbroken, but he knew her last words had been a gift. He would honor them by showing everyone that being disabled does not mean being unable. It was a big dream, but he had a plan. Emmanuel had a sharp mind, a bold heart, and one strong leg. All he needed was a bike. At first, no one would help. They thought his plan, to bicycle around Ghana, was impossible. Then he wrote to the Challenge Athletes Foundation all the way in San Diego, California. They sent him a bike, plus a helmet, shorts, socks, and gloves. Hmm, what exactly is it that Daniel wants to share with people? You're right, he wants people to know that being disabled does not mean that you are unable. But what do people think of his plan? You're right, they think that it's impossible. Let's read just a little more and see if we can piece it together to figure out the theme. Along the way, Emmanuel talked to those with physical challenges and those without to poor farm workers and wealthy landowners, to religious leaders, government officials, and reporters. He wanted everybody to see him and his disability. He wanted everybody to hear him and his message. The farther he rode, the more attention he got. Children cheered, able-bodied adults ran or rode along with him. People with disabilities left their homes and came outside, some for the very first time. The young man once thought of as cursed was becoming a national hero. He completed his astounding journey, pedaling south to the sea and back up to Accra, nearly 400 miles in just 10 days. But Emmanuel's success goes even further than that. He proved that one leg is enough to do great things and one person is enough to change the world. So, how does his bike ride change what people think about people with disabilities? You're right, they're able to see that people with disabilities can do great things. 
So that brings us to the question. What is the theme or lesson of this story? You could say that one person, like Emmanuel, can make a difference in the world. Thanks for stopping to learn about the topic and theme with me. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.